obviously a great win uh, for our guys. Extremely proud of them. Um, you know, I, I thought that Nate Mason was as good as it gets, playing with unbelievable confidence. Um, he was, especially in that first half, was was unstoppable. He saved us because our offense was not clicking. Um, and then at the end of the game, um, Akeem Springs, I told him, I said, when you're one for 12, you better follow your shot. So you knew you were going to miss it. Um, we didn't execute the play properly. We were supposed to run a ball screen for a mirror, broke down. But Eric Curry made the winning play. Eric Curry came from the other side, tipped it back to him. Um, and Eric was terrific on their bigs. Uh, so sitting at 19 and 7, 7 and 6, um, you know, they, these guys have been a lot of fun to be around. So I'm proud of them. It's a great win. Yeah, it, we, we used the term winning plays. And Eric made a bunch of them at the end. You know, he had that steal on the right side there by the baseline. Uh, Murph winning plays, making two free throws which, uh, you know, he told me he was shaking. And um, to do that, and then Eric defensively doing a lot of great things, and then it came at the end, um, following his own shot, Eric keeping it alive, uh, making that winning. I mean, he, he, he was so off, he was missing layups, but he willed it in, and that's what good teams do. What was going on with him tonight? What did you say to him uh, when he came to the bench? Yeah. What did I say to him? I can't tell you what I said to him. Um, but, you know, I... I I said a few things, then I told him to stay confident. Um, but he, he just, uh, you could tell it was, it was in his head a little bit. Um, you know, but to his credit, he just kept fighting. And uh, he's a confident kid. I kept telling him, you're, you're a confident kid. You work hard. Uh, this thing's going to turn for you. And it did. I got to imagine when you've got Nate Mason at 30 points and, and Akeem at that point, at one of 11, uh, your ideal scenario probably wasn't Akeem shooting up that. No, it was supposed to be a dribble handoff. I was clear as day what we were going to do is dribble handoff for a mirror. Um, and evidently it wasn't clear as day uh, because we did not execute it. But at the end of the day, sometimes it's players making plays. Did they, did he defend it? Did they take that option? No, Murph didn't set the ball screen. It's his fault. It's not my fault. Did, did Mason change? I thought I, my view was he would pull up more and shoot the jumpers. Now he seems to really go into the basket hard almost all the time. He was confident today. Um, you know, he made some big plays getting in there. Uh, they were really jumping out on ball screens, and he was really confident um, getting to the rim. But, you know, he, he's, he's a tough cover. I mean, he made some shots in the first half, but he can shoot from the three, he can hit mid-range, and now he's getting to the rim, as well as he's a terrific defender. Uh, so he's, he's playing very, very versatile, um, and he's doing a lot of things. I think he started 2 of 9 or 2 of 10 from the field. Did you have to encourage him to stay aggressive, or was that just natural for him tonight? Not really. Yeah, with him, he, he, he knows. You know, he, he's – I don't have to coach him a whole lot. Um, you know, he's at the point now where he kind of coaches himself. Um, so he knows, and he, he did. He stayed confident. Hit some big shots. How impressed were you with uh, Eric defending Brian's possession? He was terrific. Yeah, he was terrific. And, you know, we got to get Reggie. Reggie's going to lead the country in and ones. He gives up more and ones than any big I've ever seen. He's got to stop doing that. But Eric came in as an undersized big, and Brian's an NBA player, and just did it with sheer will. Um, we, we did a good job of slapping down in the post. We were pretty good there. Um, you know, but Eric Eric was a game changer off the bench. Yeah, going for Reggie's got to stay he does. Well, the biggest thing is is the and ones. He gives up more and ones than I've ever seen a big guy do. Um, so I just keep yelling at him, yell louder. No, I. Uh, he's got to learn from it. You know, he, he's. Uh, we'll watch. Um, you know, I thought he was improving. I think this may have been the first time Kyle out. I'm not sure when, but he's just maybe it's technique. I'm not sure. Is that the uh, fastest you've ever lost your coat tie? Well, I'm, I've been very good the last two years. I don't think I've gotten a technical. And I was yelling at Reggie, and I got a technical for yelling at my player. Uh, so what I said to Reggie was probably I should have gotten a technical, but uh, I was not yelling at the ref. Um, but then I was, it, was, it was, yeah, that was definitely the quickest. That was like the first two minutes. So. When you look at just the way it um, came out, obviously, with a shooting game like that, you could have easily said, this is not your night. At any point in the second half, said, I'm going to go with the three. But you, you put him back in. I mean, you know, I took him out. Um, he had made a mistake on a pick and roll coverage, and I kind of pulled him. But the more I thought about it, it actually may have been a communication issue with Reggie, uh, where he thought it was a switch and it wasn't. 
Um, so, you know, he's such a confident kid and he works so hard that I've got trust in him. Um, he just had an off shooting night. But at the end of the day, he made a basket that won the game, and uh, that's all that matters. And you, you said the, obviously, the last play was for Amir. I mean, 17 points in the second half, all the second half. It was all the second half, yeah, right? I mean, you know, he's the type of player that, you know, sometimes he has one good half, you know. And, and yeah, so my mind, my mind was in the right place. <clears throat> right. When he puts it all together, though, I mean, he makes big shots. You know, he made that three that was huge. Um, and he, he's just got will. He's a competitor. Uh, and that's why I wanted to run the play for him. Um, you know, but uh, it was a breakdown at the end. But he, he's, he's going to be a special, special player. He battled, played 36 minutes at seven rebounds versus a very physical team. All righty. Thank you. Thanks.